hello beauties and welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome and if you're returning thank you so so much i appreciate you all i really do in this video i'm going to show you all how to mix black soap dodo soap for effective results so as you can see this particular one i'm showing you right here is the previous black soap i made and this one is just only black soap it does not contain any dodo soap and um yeah it's very very good and effective for your skin as well so if you haven't checked that out i will link it i'll put it up for you to watch it so um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that and um, without wasting much of your time i want us to go ahead and jump right into this so my lovelies after wearing my gloves i'm going to go ahead and introduce this soap and as i told you i'm going to use the dough song to make this um black soap i'm going to grate everything i have about three packs and i'm going to um get them out from the packs and i'm going to start grating them so please keep watching I want to let you guys know that um, I change my gloves frequently anytime I see that it's about to break. Yeah, whenever I see that they are about to break or when they start breaking, and I just change them because I don't want the grater to, you know, touch my fingers. Yeah, so when you see that the soap is about to finish, you like just want to change them to avoid. Um, the greater touching on your hands so this is turmeric turmeric helps reduce acne and any resulting scars also combination of using turmeric may help clear up acne breakouts next thing i'm going to add is coconut oil coconut oil has antioxidants such as vitamin e and a which helps low aging process and also may help to reduce the damage from free radicals and the sun. Many women swear by this product. So here I'm adding sunflower oil. This oil can be used as a moisturizer as well as prevents flaking skin. Sunflower oil prevents dryness and roughness. Its hydrating properties give skin a healthy glow, promotes elasticity and also reduce the appearance of wrinkle. So the next thing I'm going to be adding is orange DIY I made. Orange essential oil reduces blemishes and dark spots. Next is castor oil. Castor oil prevents wrinkles and also promotes overall skin health. Next, I'm adding jojoba oil. Jojoba oil has anti-inflammatory properties. It also helps in skin repair and damage control. So next, I'm going to add avocado oil. Avocado oil helps grow new skin and also helps with issues like sunburn. So the next thing I'm going to add will be argan oil. Argan oil has extremely hydrating effects for dry skin. It's really, really good if you have um, dry skin. Argan oil is very good for you. So just uh, for you to know that uh, some of these ingredients, um, we are going to add the dosu has it already something like um lemon lemon juice although i will i will put that later but now i'm going to add lemon oil just few drops just about five drops again i'm going to add turmeric oil turmeric oil can fade away marks giving you a blemish free skin Moving on, I'm going to add lavender oil. Lavender oil helps clean your skin and lessen redness and irritation. All these oils, they are super, super amazing, especially for your skin. So moving on, the next thing I'm going to add will be um, rosehip oil. Rosehip oil moisturizes the skin. It helps reduce hyperpigmentation. It also helps to exfoliate and brighten the skin. And also hydrates so um, the next thing I'm going to add will be orange peel powder um, this DIY I made it myself it makes your skin look youthful and bright 
It improves oily skin and makes the skin soft, smooth and firm. So here I'm adding sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil treats dry skin and also improves acne. And I'm adding about 5 ml. Moving on, I'm going to add Manuka honey. This honey is really, really good. They are all organic. Again, um, honey is a natural antibacterial. It also has a great um, acne treatment and also great for um, slowing aging. Moving on, I'm adding palm oil. Palm oil restores hydration to the skin, preventing further dryness by sealing in moisture. This is also stable to use if you have sensitive skin. You know, palm oil is really, really good. If you're buying, make sure you buy organic one. Is This is really, really important. So lastly, I'm going to add um, lemon, lemon juice. Um, all these oils I added, they are really, really good. Um, you don't have to add all of them if you don't have it. If you have like few oils, that will do. So my lovelies, I'm going to add a little bit of um, warm water for easy mixing. Black soap can be a bit drying, but very good for your skin. So that's why I added some of these oils, but you don't have to add all these oils that I added. Any one you have would do. So far is a good oil that is not um, harsh to the skin. So yeah, all these oils, they are really, really good. So my lovelies, now I'm going to leave this soap for two days, which is 48 hours. I'm going to leave it for everything, all the oils, just everything to infuse itself into the soap. So, and I'll bring you back and show you how it looks. So my beauties, as you can see how the soap looks after two days. I'm going to open it and let you guys see. So this is it. I'm going to go ahead and mix it together and I'm going to transfer it into this jar. So this is how it looks. This is the one I made earlier. If you haven't checked that out, please go and check it out. It's really nice. So that's the outcome of this soap. It's really, really nice and effective as well. So that's it that's really it if you like it please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you all in my next video stay blessed stay beautiful and i love you all bye